Well, Michigan Magazine is on the road. We decided to take a turn off one of the major routes and head down towards the Mac Lake area. At a request, someone wanted to see Mac Lake. And here we are. A little off the beaten path, but a beautiful lake as you can see. My, my, my. Mac Lake. Don't know how far I should go up this road show you how beautiful this lake is. The homes along this uh, rural countryside. Not far from Isle. Not far from Rose City. Mac Lake. Alright, I think I will pull over up here and let you just observe here a little bit. This is a beautiful lake. Into some muddy conditions up here, so I'm going to kind of turn around here in just a moment. Some beautiful homes, too. This is in really a lot of this area back in the uh, Jack Pine area is a good place for the uh, Kirtland Warbler. Okay, this is getting a little dicey for me, so I'm gonna shut her down here in just a moment and turn around. We're getting a storm later on today. We had a storm yesterday, so there is a lot, a lot of uh, snow here. Looks like they did a good job in uh, removing it from the roadway. There you go. Alrighty, we're going to turn around here. County Road 489. All right, hold on here. I just wanted to get an outside view for you. For you uh, people who are familiar with Mac Lake. There you go. We are at the corner of Kenny Road 489 and Eggleston Roads. And as you can see there, the National Forest Campground is straight ahead. Mac Lake, should I go or should I stay? We'll have to check that out a little later on, okay? Okay, so on another journey when the roads aren't so questionable. Alrighty, back on the roads, Michigan Magazine. GoPro on the go. Alrighty. Alrighty.